sixth grade module three lesson 16 problem set number one locate a point in quadrant four of the coordinate plane label the point a and write its ordered pair next to it so let's remember that quadrant four uh, they go counterclockwise so quadrant one is right here quadrant two quadrant three and quadrant four so we want to find one in quadrant four though so it could be anything I'm going to do let's pick this point right here actually I think I want them to be different let's do this point and we're labeling it a label the point a and write its ordered pair next to it so this is point one two three four five six seven and then down one two three so this is seven negative three I'll put it up here too so you could pick anything as long as your first coordinate is positive and your second y coordinate is negative then you you have a correct answer for that part okay so a says reflect point a over the x-axis so that its image is in quadrant three okay so this is the x-axis this is the y-axis and we want to reflect it point a over an axis so that the image is in quadrant three so we want to get it in this quadrant right here that's quadrant three so in order to do that we need to reflect it over the y-axis so we're reflecting it over this axis right here so we need to go one two three four five six seven it, units to get to the y-axis and then we're going to go out seven more one two three four five six seven so reflecting it over the y-axis label it b and write its ordered pair next to it so this is at negative seven negative three so i'm going to write the answers to a in purple over here so it says label image b write its ordered pair next to it which axis did we reflect over so i'm going to say we reflected over the y-axis and then what is the only difference in the ordered pairs of a and b so a is 7 negative 3 and b is negative 7 negative 3 so the only difference is that the x-coordinates are opposites All right, B says reflect point B over an axis so that its image is in quadrant two. So now we wanna be over here in quadrant two. So let's move it. Three gets us to this X axis and then up three more would reflect it. So that's C and it is located at negative seven, positive three. Which axis did you reflect over? We reflected over this axis which is the x-axis. So for B, reflected over the x-axis. And then we wanna know what is the only difference in the ordered pairs of points B and C. So B was negative seven, negative three, C, was negative seven three so the only difference is that the let's see y coordinates are opposites
And then there was one last question. How does the ordered pair of point C relate to the ordered pair of point A? So A was 7, negative 3. So both coordinates are opposite. So instead of, so the x coordinate, negative 7 and 7, and 3 and negative 3 is the y. So they are both opposites. So let's say, C and A have both x and y coordinates that are opposites. Okay, and down to C. Reflect point C over an axis so that its image is in quadrant 1. So now we want C to be in quadrant 1 over here. So we're going to need to move 7 to get to this axis so we can reflect it into quadrant 1. And then move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There, so we end up at 7, 3. Which axis did we reflect over? Well, that is the y-axis. So let's say reflected over the y-axis. And it also asks, oh, well, we didn't label it D. Let me go back and label that D. Which axis do we reflect over? The y, how does the ordered pair for point D compared to C? So D was 7, 3, right? And C was negative 7, 3. So the difference would be, let's see, the y coordinates are the same, but the x coordinates are opposites. The difference in D and C is that the X coordinates are opposites. And then we want to know um, how does the ordered pair for point D compare to A and B? So how does it compare to so A was 7, negative 3, B was negative 7, negative 3. So let's compare A and D first. So they both have 7, so they have the same x coordinates, but the y coordinates are opposites. So let's say the difference. in A and D is that the x coordinates are, sorry the y coordinates are opposites 3 and negative 3 And then we need to compare D and B. So D and B, so both the X and Y coordinates are opposites. Okay. Bobby listened to her teacher's directions and navigated from the point negative one zero to five negative three. So I'm going to clear this so that we can use it for this part. Okay, so 
She navigated from the point negative one, zero, so that would be right here, to five, negative three. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then down three. She knows that she has the correct answer, but she forgot part of her teacher's directions. Her teacher's directions included the following. Move seven units down, so remember she started here, so we're going to move seven units down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So move seven units down, reflect about the blank axis. So which axis would we need to reflect across in order to get to five, negative three? So we would want to reflect across the y axis, this one right here, so that we can make progress to getting towards five, negative three. So we want to reflect about the y axis. So if we reflect that point right here to the y axis, I reflect, let me get rid of this line. So I've, I reflect this point right here across the y-axis. I need to move one, and I'll end up right there. Move up four units, so move up one, two, three, four. Up four, I get there, and then move right four. One, two, three, four, and I end up at five, negative three. Help Bobby determine the missing axis in the directions and explain her your answer. So we already determined it was the y-axis. So let's say um, let's see the first the first uh, direction. Let's say the first direction would move the location to, so the first direction moved the location down here to negative one, negative seven. Then we reflect, a, a, let's see, a reflection. So then we reflect across the y-axis moved the point to, we moved it over here, right here, to, that's one, negative seven. When we move, we moved up four units. Two. That was this point right here, and that is negative one, or sorry, one negative three. And right four units. To the final spot, which was five negative three. And that is all.